Hello, this is Evil for Zergen, and I'm going to demonstrate a clipless advanced cannon design. This is a 150 millimeter kinetic advanced cannon. Uh, see if I've got uh, nine gunpowders and a uh, kinetic projectile. For this cannon, I've used these eight meter long autoloaders. This was designed back before the materials change, which made these 8 meter autoloaders less cost efficient than shorter autoloaders. So if you're building a design like this now, I'd recommend 2 or 3 meter autoloaders. But it'll serve as a good case for a demonstration. Now, I'm gonna unpause here and let the cannon load its shells. This is one disadvantage of these clipless designs. The game starts clips loaded, but clipless designs have to wait for them to load, like this. There we go. 17.8 seconds for this one. Which isn't too bad, um, but you probably don't want to be waiting for uh, 500 millimeter cannons to load. Now, even for kinetics, magazine explosions are kind of a danger because each of these gunpowders is basically the same as one fifth of a flak shell when it goes off. Or a flak module, I should say. But with this clipless design, each autoloader only holds one of these at a time, as opposed to, uh, I think, 12 or 13 per clip for a clip design. That makes this much less volatile, as I'll demonstrate here by destroying one of these. <laughs> So there's a small explosion, but it wasn't nearly enough to set off a chain reaction. You can see that the other autoloaders next to it are barely even darkened. In retrospect, I probably should have oriented the autoloaders in the other direction so the explosion would happen to the top. You see it took out the local weapon controller down there. But this design is obsolete in terms of cost anyways, so uh, if you want something like this, I suggest uh, checking out some of the newer designs I've linked in the description. Thanks for watching.